Hey everybody, it's been uh, it's been a year since I picked up this Forerunner, and I did a, a quick video on this uh, this uh, sliding back cargo tray, and I wanted to give you kind of my overall impressions after a year. Am I happy with it? Am I not happy with it? And to answer some questions that I've had from some different viewers, I apologize for the noise behind me. They're putting in an addition to our subdivision and it's pretty much constant noise all day long. So I apologize for that uh, in advance. Okay, one of the features of, uh, of this setup is that when you uh, put everything down, you have a nice flat space here. So if you are using it to uh, do some vehicle car camping in, you don't have to build yourself a, a separate platform. And uh, this does slide out as I've demonstrated before. There is a little bit of space in here and we'll throw some stuff in there and see what will actually fit. And then I've got a lot of questions about this little, this little cargo space here and what can go in there. So um, right now I've got four kind of not super heavy duty tie downs, but a little bit more than just the, the flimsy ones. So I've got some, some tie downs in there and there's, there's room for probably another one and maybe something uh, light sitting on top. I'll throw some different things in there so you can get some idea about how, how big that is. Okay, there's a, there's a couple of trekking poles. I think you could probably strategically put uh, two more in there. I had somebody ask me about a tripod. My tripod will not fit in there. It's, uh, I've got a pretty a big head on that tripod. It's got a couple levels on it. So this particular tripod, no. But maybe if you've got one that's more designed for uh, for lightweight and backpacking, it might. That's a Bear grill survival machete. Not quite sure if it'll fit. Let's see. Uh, it kind of interferes there a little bit. But no, nah, it'll fit. That will fit. And then there's a large pair of jumper cables that definitely go in there. You can put a couple of shackles in there if you needed to. The recovery rope for my recovery gear, maybe if you roll it, you kind of go back and forth. It might lay down in there, but there's probably a better place for it, which would be under here. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. Okay, so in the uh, the cargo area that's now slid all the way out, how about uh, will will that will this clear that? And it's binding a little bit, and it just pulled it. So I would say. These are maybe just a little bit too tall for that area in there, just to give you an idea. Let's see what else. Okay, how about the jumper cables? They, uh, just because of their nature, maybe if they were uh, maybe tied up a little bit and uh, compacted down, they probably would fit. Trekking poles. Yep, they work. So that worked just fine, which means that machete will work just fine, so I won't uh, do a demo My on tripod that. is definitely a no-go. I don't even need to try and, uh, and close it now. All right, so the overall assessment is I like it. I use it all the time. Probably should have used it sometimes when I didn't, otherwise I wouldn't have got my paint scraped here from pulling a box out if I'd actually deployed it. So uh, I've not actually slept in there, have I? No, I have not slept in there yet. Uh, the dogs like to have the, the, nice, the nice flat. Did a lot of hauling of boxes and stuff to a storage unit oh, three or four months ago, and I liked having the, 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 the whole flat surface to be able to, to load things in. The, uh, there are some little hooks here that you can suspend some like garbage bags from, little grocery bags. Like if you're out camping to throw garbage in, or if you're till to, to tailgating, and I often will pull that, pull it out and sit on it like a tailgate. Just did it yesterday. I was waiting for my granddaughters at their school. I was there early, and I pulled it to a parking spot and flipped the, uh, put the, put the tailgate up there, and had a little, had a little bit of sunshade from the, from the, from the window being uh, tinted, and set on the, set on the tailgate there on the. On the on the actual the trays and at, you know use it as a tailgate if you will and listen to some music and just wait it for him really enjoyed it so overall yes I would do it again and I would buy this uh, particular feature again.